Ooh, ooh, it is a little junky today, but I'm going to show you guys how to hook that up and that up to that. And uh, the pink bag is something special. I'm going to show you how to hook that up too. Let's go. Bolo! All right, what is good? Before we get started with the video, make sure you guys like, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys comment, and please make sure you guys turn on those post notifications so you will know the next time I have another video available. And hit that thumbs up if you like the video or hit that thumbs down. I really don't care. Well, today, as you can see, my desk is very junky because I am going to show you guys how to hook up an audio interface and a MIDI keyboard or a Bluetooth device to your iPad. This video has already been done by multiple people, but I'm just gonna show you my way of how I do it. And uh, I'm actually gonna show you on an older iPad because I just, I just ordered the new iPad. I know, I know I'm super late. I just didn't feel no need for a new iPad, but uh, I, I went ahead and got one anyway. So are you guys happy now? Hopefully the video shouldn't be too long, but I just want to show you guys the correct way to do it so you can get it done the right way the first time. And uh, I'm going to show you guys what you're going to need and a few accessories that are not necessarily needed, but they're going to make your life so much easier. So let's go ahead and get to the video and let's go ahead and hook this stuff up and make some dope beats. All right. So the first thing that you're going to need is, of course, you're going to need an iPad new or old um i recommend getting an ipad pro now every ipad is pretty decent and even like the newer ipads just the regular ones have some of the same stuff that are in this 2017 uh late ipad pro and they work pretty darn good like i really don't have to get rid of this one but it's it's time for an upgrade first thing you'll need is an ipad preferably an ipad pro and I'm gonna show you some of the things that you're gonna need to use with it to hook everything up. The first thing that you're gonna need other than the iPad is you're going to need a camera adapter. This thing right here, a camera adapter. This is a lightning camera adapter that I use on my late 2017 iPad Pro. And as you can see, it has a USB port and it has a charging port on here as well. So that way I can keep the iPad charged while I'm using USB out on here. Now, for everybody who has newer iPads, I went ahead and got me the uh, USB-C camera port. And as you can see, this one comes with a charging port, it comes with a USB port, and it comes with a headphone output. Now, the good thing about this is, honestly, if you did not want to use the interface, you can use this headphone out on here and just connect the speakers directly to it using an adapter from the headphone out and two quarter inches or stereo inside of your speakers. Um, but I still always feel like it's best to get an interface if you want to get a better sound. These are just as good coming out of the headphones. They're, well, well, they're not just as good. They are very good coming out of the headphones, but I just feel like coming out of maybe like a focus right or something like that it's always just a better sound and you get better mixes this is the lightning one this is for older ipads this is the usb-c one this is for the newer ipads the hookups are exactly the same it's nothing different it's just that these are just different connections what are you going to need next you're going to need the brains of the operation and this is going to be very 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 important all right, so the brains of the operation is this right here. It's a powered USB hub. This thing right here is very cheap on Amazon. They have a ton of them on Amazon. Um, this is the IQUAI, IQUAI. I might put in the, you know, the link in the description so you can check it out. But the reason why I got this is because my iPad Pro doesn't have enough power to run all of the stuff like the keyboard, the focus right. It doesn't have enough power. Now, some of the newer iPads, they do have enough power but I still always recommend to get one of these powered hubs because this will power anything and everything that you need to hook up to your iPad. So basically how to hook this up, all you have to do is hook up the USB into the camera adapter. Let me show you. All right, so got the USB hub right here and now I have the USB hub connected directly into the camera adapter that goes directly into the iPad. So it just plugs in just like that. So 
Let me show you that. Okay, so now we have everything plugged in. We have the USB adapter plugged in to the camera adapter on the iPad and that's pretty much it. So now, how do we get everything else working? Well, it's just very simple. All we have to do now, since this is plugged in, and this also has its own plug as well that plugs in to um, a stand-up plug that keeps the power inside of here. So it has a stand-up plug hookup, which is, oh, what did I do with it? It's somewhere back here, it must have failed. All right, so I got everything hooked up. It looks like a total mess right now, but to be honest, most of y'all producers know that this is how stuff looks when we're actually really making beats. But we have the power USB hub hooked up, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick the power inside of here, like so, and now this is directly powered. As you can see, the lights are on right there. And this has a separate power supply that plugs into the plug down at the bottom. And now this has enough power to power even this right here, which is my complete M32 keyboard. And it has enough power to use uh, with my focus right. And it has enough power to use with my mouse. And it has enough power to where I can actually hook up a plug from this right here, which is basically just a charger right here, a quick charger, and I can run a plug for my quick charger directly into my plugging port right here, and it will keep my laptop charged directly from the power bank. So now what I have to do is, all, all I have to do now is just hook up everything up to the power bank right here. It sends the information through the cord inside of the USB camera device inside of the iPad, and then the iPad recognizes all of the devices. Now, some devices do work and some devices don't. The M32 does work, but you can't use any of the other stuff with it. It's a bummer, but I'm pretty sure over time they'll fix that. It does work. I can still make beats on it. I can still play my keys on it. I can still change octaves on it. It works. All right, so I got everything plugged in so far as the initial part. Let me go ahead and plug in the keyboard and let me go ahead and plug in the focus right and show you how I got everything plugged in. So that way you can see how all this stuff works and uh, we can start making some music with it, right? All right, okay, so I got everything hooked up right now. I have the keyboard on, as you can see, it is reading, it is on. And as you can see, the focus right is now on. Now, let's talk about the interfaces. The only interfaces that are gonna work with your iPad is the class compliant interfaces. So it has to be class compliant. So if you're ever looking for an interface for the iPad, always look up interfaces that say class compliant. Do not hit me in the comments. Do not email me. Do not do anything unless you buy something that is class compliant. Let me say that again, class compliant. And they actually have a list online, if you look it up, on interfaces that work with the iPad, they have like, like 10 interfaces that work on there. I just seen that list the other day, and they have a full list of class compliant interfaces that work with the iPad. And most of those interfaces are like between 90 and $150. And then they have some ones that are more expensive, but this right here does the trick for me. And to be honest with you, even the big Focusrite interface works with the iPad. It just has to be plugged in, but this one, you don't necessarily have to have it plugged into an external source, but to get enough power, I just plug it into the bank. So let me show you how the bank is working. This last plug right here, this plug right here is actually the keyboard plug, which that is this right here. This is plugged into it. The second plug right here is going into the focus right. This third plug right here is powering up the mouse, which you can see on the screen, the mouse is now moving. And this right here is the quick charge plug, which is plugged into the charging port on the camera adapter, which is constantly charging the iPad. Pretty much, that's it. And then from there, I have the speaker outputs from the Focusrite going into the Kali Audio 8s, which are super dope. And they're sitting on the Soundrise Pro stands, which are super dope. 
And from there, that's how I get all my sound and that's how I get all my mixes. And they work the same on the lightning adapter and on the USB-C adapters that work for the newer iPads. It just sticks right on in there, just like that. Now, some of you guys are wondering, what's in the pink bag? But this is something a little bit special. Let me go ahead and unhook this and put this out the way. In the pink bag, we have a thing called the Sensor Morph, which is a Bluetooth controller. I've already done a video on this. You can look on uh, some of my playlists and you will see a video of the Sensor Morph. The Sensor Morph is actually something really dope because it comes with it's like a pad right here and you can just put different skins on there and you can just like really go to work. So I have my three favorite skins. I have the keyboard skin, I have the piano skin, and I have the uh, beat machine uh, skin. Super dope. And what this is, it plugs in directly via Bluetooth. And all you have to do is turn it on, connect it to Bluetooth, and it works like that. Now, the good thing about it is, since I have the focus right and everything hooked up, so now, since this is sending all the MIDI via Bluetooth, I can still hear all the sound coming out because this is connected as the audio source. It all works the same whether you're using the plug or you're not using the plug for your MIDI input devices. So it works exactly the same and you're gonna get great results. And I like Bluetooth stuff because it actually, you know, it just looks dope without no cords or nothing like that. So basically, that's how you set everything up. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something from it. If you got any questions, hit me up. But if it's questions that you can easily go and look up on Google or whatever, eh, don't hit me up. But if you're like seriously confused on what I just did, hit me up and I will try to guide you through it. And, uh, and I hope you guys can hook this thing up real easy and make some dope beats. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I always say, peace out.